Hello my loves, welcome back to another episode of Foundation. I am excited to be back here and diving into this um, major fish situation that we are supposed to be creating. But also like, sorry about the way that I look. I am not wearing any makeup. I've done literally nothing with my hair. I found out I'm pregnant and I am very, very tired, but also very excited. But Nap Kristen is not having a good time <laughs> and neither is one shot of espresso a day, Kristen, but that's that's a whole other story. So let's just like dive in and have some good old fashioned fun here. You can see we've got a ton of little bumbling sheep. We really shouldn't have this many. The, um, <laughs> the devs are probably crying somewhere right now as they see how many sheep that I have, but like we haven't had any crashes yet and Look, I love the sheep. Like, I honestly really don't mind. Famous last words, right? We've got a bunch of our little townhomes up here with our little church. And the last time we were hanging out in Foundation, we were thinking about setting up another church situation. I was thinking kind of like a coastal church over here, but I know that my citizens like to live nearby churches, so it might actually be a better call to build like a little chapel up there or like right here, but we have a lot of our wheat harvesting going on over here. So I am going to not listen to my own advice and I'm probably gonna build it over here. No access to service. What, what do you mean? What are we missing? Oh, oh, no access to a church. Oh, okay. It's because we have reached our attendance for the church. So people are starting to complain a little bit. So I think that means it's going to be a good time to actually go ahead and build our church situation. So we are going to be building another rustic church. Let's go ahead and pop it down like right here, I think. Something nice and coastal. We will, of course, Put, how do I rotate again? It's control. I'm never gonna get used to using control to rotate, but we're gonna place that there. And I'm thinking we move it up to be a little bit higher. Is there a way I can make it longer? I don't think I can make it wider, which is, yeah, which is kind of unfortunate. I, I do wish I could make it wider, but you know what? We take what we get when it comes to this, like, it's already a lot of flexibility, you know? Oh, we have an envoy approaching our village, and we've got some promotions that are available. I'm not going to be worried about the promotions quite yet. Where do I want to put my towers this time? Let's make it just a little taller, just like that. And then I'm thinking we actually put our door right here. Could I build it like here? Okay, okay, that's actually not as bad. Let's go ahead and we'll build it like this. I'm gonna put a little cross here just to kind of acknowledge that's what we're doing. All right, so that's gonna be a little bit of a process. We've got a lot of things going into building over here. Luckily, last time we were playing with this save, we built another like little builder's workshop. So we'll actually have at least three more people who can work on the job. And soon enough, we actually have cloth in the process. I'm not sure we have any clothes being built. Although I don't know why we don't have any clothes being built. I think what we might be missing is something that turns the cloth into clothing. Let's see if we have any options for this. We've got blacksmith, gathering hut, fisher's hut, dairy farm, cheese maker, sheep farm, weaver's hut. Okay, we need a tailor's workshop. Why don't we place, we could place the tailor's workshop like right here. I think I would be okay with that. Oh, and it looks like build a wooden keep is completed. So we actually do have our wooden keep. No workers assigned. I thought, okay, oh, these are in a bit of a weird position. Um, can we move those? Is that something we can actually do? Just like pick things up and drop them places? Because those are like sorta in the way. Well, I guess they're just gonna kind of stay in the way, but that's, that's all right. Oh, and there goes our envoy. I think we forgot to greet the envoy, which is totally my fault. I'm just gonna blame pregnancy brain on this one. Am I gonna blame pregnancy brain on everything? Probably, but you know what? I might as well <laughs> take this moment and actually enjoy the fact that I um, have an excuse 
for being silly about remembering things. All right, so we can go ahead and assign some fishers. We only need one person working at the fisherman's hut. That's kind of surprising. And then let's see if we actually have enough space in any of our warehouses. So I think what we need is the granary. And we don't have any fish spots for this granary. So I'm kind of thinking maybe it's time we build another granary as well because we do have two warehouses. So it does seem like it would actually be a good call. I'm thinking maybe we put a little granary right here and then we can also assign some soldiers and they can do some training. We have a couple swords, so we'll have two more swords. Condition, they're currently untrained. So, okay, you can see that they will be working with the dummies to actually get themselves trained. That's really nice to see. They're actually doing some of their own working on their own. So I don't actually have to like manually train them as long as we have accessible dummies for them to practice with, we are all set. Okay, we have six fish. So we're starting to build up a collection of fish. Do we have an, okay, we can assign a ton of more resources to sell. We can hire a few more market tenders. So let's go ahead and do that and assign a resource. We can do common wear, candles, and clothes. So let's do clothes. Well, we of course don't have clothes to sell yet, but I intend that we will have clothes soon enough. Oh, cool, it's actually already done. Let's go ahead and hire ourselves a tailor. And look at that, we actually have very few villagers unemployed, so we are kind of like building up some progress. You can see that the terrible rainstorm that started last episode is still here, so we are having bad weather still. Um, which means we're not really getting quite as much food, I believe. You can see that we are running a little low on berries, a little low on fish. We have a ton of bread. So the bread is going to definitely keep us afloat. Oh my God, I can't get over these sheep. They look so funny and I love them. I think the sheep are my favorite things about this game right now, which I know is like a little bit silly but they're just so funny looking and so cute. All right, and we even have our little church already in the process of being built. Things are going okay. The town is building itself up quite slowly, but faithfully. We have a really beautiful little manor. We've got even a little market situation going on here. Oh, we actually have some military missions that are available. Are my little dudes finished training? Okay, they're partly trained and untrained. So I don't think we're gonna go on a mission yet because like, come on, they don't even know what they're doing, right? Like, we can look at the missions. No missions available, but it said we have military missions available. Help requested. Okay. Things are boiling up between the realm and our evil neighbors. Oh my goodness. I personally don't know what it's all about, but the king is requesting your help. Of course, you'll be rewarded according to your war effort. The road ahead might be uncertain. Okay, the difficulty is easy. Well, it looks like since it's easy, maybe we give it a go? Okay, so we can go back here, help requested, and we can prepare our troops. Oh no, success probability impossible. But we have to, okay. Success probability is average. What we could do maybe, can we assign some more soldiers? And then we can give them the rest of our weapons. I know we're like not really trained yet, but surely we can handle this, right? Let's try and prepare troops now. Let's see what we get. Average high, okay. We may lose some of our troops, but this is a risk we are going to take. Let's go ahead and send them off. All right, all right, let's see how it goes. Hopefully they um they do okay. We still owe fish to the kingdom and thankfully we are almost there. We're super, super close. Oh, look, and this is actually finished. Okay, so we can go ahead. Let's assign some bread and wheat, flour and fish. Unfortunately, we don't actually have any vill villagers that are unemployed right now, so we can't even like hire anyone. So we're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Um, happiness is a little rough. We're mostly lacking service and some comfort, so we might not be actually getting that many new people. Maybe what we do is, yeah, I know guys, I know we don't have access to a service. We're, listen, we're working on it. Let's do one less builder. 
and let's add him over here as a transporter. All right, and we can finally pay our fish. So let's go ahead. Can we deliver? Okay, maybe we don't have enough fish. Inside storage facilities. Oh, gotcha. We don't have any fish in our storage yet. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. That's okay, that's okay. We've still got 12 dates. That's not ideal. That's really not ideal. I don't know if we're actually gonna make that or not. But uh, we will we will give it a go. We will give it the old college try. <laughs> oh, I love these commoner houses. They are so cute. See, I think partially why our happiness is so low is because we now have commoners. So we have some people who have elevated in social class. Also, look, we have little houses. Let me check out our uh, area here. Okay, so we do have people who can move in around this area. Maybe we'll add some more space over here when some of the trees have been cleared. And so these people are going to probably be living in like a high desirability area because they're close to water and, well, they're actually not that close to water. But they are close to uh, the church, so maybe it's actually a good idea to build another well. Let me see. Where's our well? Here's a well. And let's go ahead and put our well right here. I think that's a good idea. Look at our church. It's coming along so quickly and it's looking good. I like the idea of adding on this extension to the side. Maybe when it gets a little bit bigger too and we need more space, we can add another extension over here. Maybe in the meantime, since we do have a lot of people over here, we could think about adding like a tiny extension right off to the side or right off to the back. Let me, let me see if that's something we can do. So these extensions can increase church capacity. They're really small, but if it actually does that, I, I kind of don't mind adding it on. Maybe we put it like here? just kind of off to the side there. I don't think that's a bad idea. It seems a little silly because it's so small that it could actually really like increase size, but you know what? If it does, if it adds on its own little like kind of chapel area, I think that's pretty good. We're also still really struggling with our fish situation. So we don't have like any fish in our granary and that is where we would need to get the fish from. So we don't have any fish in storage solutions, which is kind of the issue. So we, uh, we may be losing some influence with the kingdom. That's not great, but we've done kind of okay with a lot of our challenges and missions so far, or quests. So hopefully that won't hurt us too hard. All right, we've got, uh, gosh, we really don't have enough fish. Okay, we're victorious, but that said, the matter seems far from being resolved yet, and we still need your support. Maybe and maybe another time. Okay, we were victorious. I don't know if we brought anything back. We also have some promotions that are available, and we have a lot of money, so I think maybe it would be okay to uh, offer some promotions. So let's promote a bunch of people to serfs. Fisherman, forester, market tenders for sure. I think that'll be good for now. We're not gonna do any more commoners just because we really, we're struggling already with happiness. I don't think commoners are going to be very happy. <laughs> if anything, I think they'll be quite cranky with us. All right, and we did have some um, soldiers who were wounded. Only really one though, so that's not too bad. And they are on their way back from their mission. We were rewarded with a lot of coin, some bread, some iron, polished stone, and tools. That's fantastic. We definitely needed a couple of those for sure. Better days are coming. This bad weather is now behind us. Things are back to the way they were. Oh, that's fantastic. I love to see that. The weather has cleared. The storm is over. And look, our church is almost complete. What a great thing to see. And looky here, it looks like our little tiny extension has also been completed as well. We've got our little citizens back from their first mission and they are working on practicing their fighting skills. Happiness is significantly higher than it was. I don't totally know what happened, but I'm glad to see it. And now that we actually have a couple people who are unemployed, why don't we go ahead? Where's, where's that new builder? Where did I put that? I put that over here by the sheep. Okay, let's go ahead and assign another builder. Oh, and we have another 
house over here this one's a little bit bigger so we actually have a couple little houses it's really great to see this is probably like really prime location honestly and our church is complete this tower honestly doesn't look great. I'm not a huge fan of the wooden shingles on the very top of the tower, but you know, it'll do, it'll do. I kind of wish we sort of had like the thatch on the top of the tower, but I don't, I don't think that was actually an option for us. I'm honestly expecting since we um, elevated quite a few more people to surf, that we would have more houses popping up, but I'm not seeing any, but I don't know if that's because we simply don't have enough residential space. I'm kind of thinking, let's take this and the desirability is low. Okay, here it is average. What about, oh, it's low there as well. Well, that's kind of surprising. What if we build another well? I know you guys like your wells to be accessible. So what if we put a little well like right here? I think that's kind of okay, right? And this church, whoa, this church holds 40 people. That's a lot. Okay, okay. I like our coastal rustic church. It's gonna serve us really well, I think. Our warehouses are chock full of things. Everything is going well. We've got plenty of tools. We still have some people who are unemployed, but that's okay. We're still missing a service shortage. Are we really? They might be wanting some of these things, but we just like don't have the space for those commoners quite yet. I'm just, I'm a little nervous about moving too quickly, you know? So we are also running out of space for our treasury. So I think maybe it's time that we add another addition. You can promote a builder, a transporter, weaver. Okay, so we've made quite a lot of progress. I'm very excited to see how we're doing. We could be hiring some more transporters, so I'm gonna go ahead maybe and add one more here. Okay, and then let's move things up to be happening a little bit quicker. I've added some more space for houses over here. We'll see if they end up using it or not. I'm I'm not sure. I mean, we've upgraded quite a lot of people and I feel like we should have more houses somewhere popping up, you know? Oh, look at these giant cliffs. These are gorgeous. I just, I love the topography in this game. I think it's so beautiful. Uh, promotions are still available, but I, I don't know. I think we I think we've done enough. I really do. We can't even afford what we have at the moment, so let's just keep it on the simpler end while our finances kind of recover. And then once our finances recover, I'm thinking maybe we maybe we purchase this so we can maybe get some of this like marble or iron or stone or whatever this deposit is. I think maybe we'll need a bailiff to kind of determine the deposit, so I'm not sure how this is faring, but maybe it wouldn't be a bad time to actually add on another portion as well. Oh, and we can determine the visitor location. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. And we can have fountains. Oh, water basin. Oh, this is going to be so neat. But I'm almost just thinking we add in a little bit of... I still I still kind of want this at an angle. So maybe like right here. Is that high enough? We could do a little higher. Maybe we do it like that. I kind of like that. All right. So we're adding two new core pieces over here. Oh, and, and we have an envoy. What do you need from us today? The people are hungry. Um, let's assist the clergy. Deliver five bread? Oh, oh honey, we can deliver a lot more than five bread. We can definitely make that happen. All right, oh, that looks a little glitchy. Oh no. Oh, I have regrets. I, I, I thought it was gonna look better than that. Um, all right, we are still working, but we can maybe adjust the part list. So we have a core that is currently nothing. Why don't we make this a bailiff office, a treasury? Let's go ahead and do the treasury. So we do have a lot of money. And then since we actually have this much money, maybe we go ahead and buy this. It costs 500 coins. Oof. 50 coins a week. I mean, we're kind of struggling a little bit. Housing is insufficient though. Well, are we are we working on building some more? Okay, we are working on building some more. 
So we've got one house here, but it's still, it's just, it's not, it's not quite enough. Do we need more people to be tearing down woods so we can build in here? How's our, okay. So our residential area could be bigger. Let's add it right here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bite the bullet and we're going to purchase this. And that way we can even add some more residential stuff over here. And I don't know if that's going to kind of get in the way for whatever we're going to be doing up here, but housing is obviously insufficient. Okay. The Manor Lord has been built. Oh, look, I, I actually really like this angle over here. I think that looks really cool. So let's go to our parts list and this core is going to be our bailiff office. Cancel here and then we need to assign a bailiff. Okay, so we get a trade bonus from Siren. Let's go ahead and nominate Siren, I think. And then we can select our mandates. Um, why don't we go ahead and prospect a mineral deposit in proximity. Let's take a look and see how our military is doing. Uh, let me think about it. And let's go here and look at our army. All right, so everyone is, this poor dude is still wounded. That is something I'm not totally sure about, like how long the wounded stay wounded and whether or not this is gonna be like a permanent situation. Like, do we have to actually like kick them out of the army? Like, what's the deal here? But we can take a look at our mission now. So difficulty is easy. Let's go ahead and prepare our troops. Let's go back here, check out our missions. Um, prepare troops. Okay, we're gonna leave our wounded at home, I think. Oh, success possibility. Extreme, I like that. Let's go ahead and send our troops. Hopefully that goes well and we don't end up with any more wounded. Do we have to like have a hospital or something? Because I don't think I've seen a hospital, you know, like I'm not even sure where that would be. I was hoping we would be building more houses, but I I guess we're I guess we're not. We could also maybe add a little bit uh that's not gonna be an ideal residential area, so maybe we don't do that. Our lumber camp is struggling maybe a little bit. There's not a whole lot for them to do. We could make Okay, all of this actually is an extraction site. I don't feel like a lot of the lumber stuff is actually happening though. I don't know if they need to be in proximity to the actual wood, like from the lumber camp. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We've also already got all of this coin back, so we're actually doing like quite okay. Our food has gone super high again, thanks to the fact that our, uh, our drought and whatnot is over, the rainy season is over, so we're able to actually keep some food in our coffers, in our pockets. And I definitely don't think we have 20 commoners, so a lot of these things are going to still be off limits for us, but that's okay. We've also got some cute fences and stuff. So like, in theory, we could add like a nice fenced area behind the church, maybe for the tombstones and stuff. Do we actually have little citizens like die and things like that? If so, what do we what do we do about that? Do I have to actually place tombstones? Because right now we definitely don't have any kind of cemetery going on. I don't know. I'm very interested in figuring out what to do about that. I feel like I swear there should be tombstones, but maybe they're just not unlocked yet. There used to be like a really good tier, I think, of unlockables. Um, like a really good, I don't know, like mechanism to show you unlockables. And I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. Okay, so once we get 20 commoners, we can actually have a church. I think that gives us new church items and stuff. Ooh, look at these. I'm really excited for like the herb garden and the wine production and the apiaries. So I definitely want to focus on building up our relationship with the clergy. We've got quite a bit of influence. The issue is that we are just lacking um, maybe some splendor and our commoners. How many commoners do we actually have? I'm not, I'm not sure. We could probably see. Our soldiers were victorious. No, maybe another time. Let's bring them back home. I have trust issues that the <laughs> the people, the church or the kingdom will abuse my poor, poor soldiers. So they should come back from their situation. We can actually do some more promotions to commoners. 
I'm thinking we go ahead and do that. So maybe our... Let's promote our Weaver. And... I'm trying to think who would make sense to be promoted to a commoner. Maybe like the Carpenters. Because they are kind of like skilled labor. Definitely the Bailiff, right? Maybe the Stonemason? Maybe the Transporters? I don't know. The Transporters might not make sense, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, and we've gotten a ton of coin, actually more than we can keep in our coffers at the moment. We've got some bread, we've got some iron, polished stone, and tools once more. So we are getting kind of like the same amount of stuff. I'm kind of thinking now might be a good time to actually do some like larger scale renovations here build this up a little bit and then maybe we also do i don't know do we, we have polished stones we could do a, a pretty fountain here like a wall fountain and then we could add in like this guy and kind of make it like a big fountain together i don't know if that's gonna look bad or if it's gonna function at all but I kind of want to give it a try, you know? Like, just just give it a go. We'll see if it actually works. It may not. And then, ooh, do we have some more options here? Oh my god, we have more options. Brewery, hop farm. Oh my goodness, guys. There's so much we could do. I think maybe first of all, we start with a dairy farm. So I'm thinking... Dairy farm, we're probably going to want, like... Gosh, I don't even know. Like, we could put it up here. Can they even access this? Can cows live on a mountain? I'm gonna give it a try. This may be a really, really stupid idea, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, bailiff available. Let's also do mineral deposit again. I'm not sure if we actually found one or not. So I want to make sure we can actually find something for us. Okay, and look how cute this is. Okay, I think that actually wasn't a bad idea. I don't know, it's not finished yet. But I think it could be really cute, guys. Look at our town. It's growing so quickly. What I would really love to do, maybe we actually end up getting rid of this job. And we make, like, a really cool little courtyard with some garden paths. We pop a door there. You know, wouldn't that just, like, be really pretty and aesthetic? I think that'd be really nice. Oh, I don't like that. Why? Why is it... Why is there a gap? That's not... That's not ideal. See, like... The customization is great until you end up with like little things like this that you can't quite adjust and you end up with weird gaps, but you know what? It's it's okay, like we'll live, we'll survive. How's our little dairy farm going? And so while we're working on the dairy farm, why don't we also go ahead and let's add our cheese maker as well. I'm thinking we'll put the cheese maker, like we could do it here and then people could live there and work there too. That might not be a bad idea. So like the dairy farmer could live up here, of course, kind of like a shepherd in a way. I feel like we put it should have put the sheep on the hill. Maybe that would have made more sense. I don't know, but uh, you know what? We are we are living and we are making it happen. We've got another monk here. Um, let's assist the clergy. Deliver 50 planks. We got that. We got that covered. We've got so many planks. We are good. We are set. Look at this beautiful little fountain. I don't know how to make it actually run. Maybe it's still under construction, but I think it's really cool. And this, this looks like it's done. I'm still kind of upset about that, but you know what? We'll, we'll survive. And why don't we add another, can we do another treasury? Yes. Okay. We definitely needed another treasury. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Oh my god, there's so much more that we can play with. I'm really, really excited. Our town is building up so much. Next episode, we will have farms for cows. And there's a lot of other unlockables that we can actually play with as well. We can do, like, hops and... We can do a brewery, we can do hops, we'll have our cheese maker up and running, and hopefully we'll actually end up with a little bit more of a like civilization area for them to live, sorry, residential area. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one, bye.